hi guys welcome back once again to my channel in today's class i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft a basic bodice and a basic sleeve pattern for a girl child that is six years old for the sleeve pattern i'm going to be sharing some tips so stay tuned so i've just marked my baseline like i normally do in this channel i always like creating my baseline so from the top of the pattern i came down by one inch that is what i always do coming down by one inch to create a baseline so now that we've gotten our baseline the next thing i'm going to be doing is to divide my pattern paper into two okay so it's 24 inches and i mark the middle of it which is 12 inches and i will create my line so this line here will be serving as the center front and the center back so stay tuned to see how i'll be drafting this pattern so moving on the next thing i'm going to be doing is to divide the shoulder measurement by two we always divide our shoulder measurement by two same goes for children so dividing that into two that gave me 5.25 i've already marked that so for the neckline i'm going to be taking 2.75 so now i'll be taking 2.75 for the neck width this is the front bodies that i'm currently marking okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to mark half inch for our shoulder slope so i'm going to be connecting from the tip of the neck okay down to the shoulder line okay to create a shoulder slope so i've created the shoulder slope for the front and back so now i'm inserting the armhole measurement so from the shoulder slope line i came down by six inches that is her armhole measurement okay and here i'm cross checking also inserting my shoulder measurement just so that i get a straight line for the armhole did you get so the next thing i'm going to do is to create our lines okay that we use to form the armhole so the next thing i'm going to do now is to insert our neckline measurement so for the back i marked 1.5 for the back neckline and for the front neckline i marked three inches this is so because i don't want the the girl child to feel uneasy while wearing this dress now moving on the next thing i'm going to do is to insert her half length which is at 10 inches so i'll mark 10 inches okay and the next thing i'm going to do after this is to connect the dots now the chest line for children and their waistline are usually the same measurement in most cases okay for hers is 24 inches so i'm going to divide that into four to get six inches so i'll mark six inches but at the waistline just to give her a little bit of fit i'm going to mark 5.75 she'll still be fine with this so for the back pattern i'm going to repeat the same measurements now the next thing i'm going to do is to connect the lines now moving on to the armhole area for the front bodies i'm going to divide the armhole by two like you can see me doing then i'll come down by half inch then from the point where i came down by half inch i'm going to come in again by half inch to create her armhole curve for adults we normally come in for the front bodies by 0 0.75 but because this is a child i came in by 0 0.5 okay now for her back bodies i'm going to divide by two again and i'm going to come in by 0 0.25 then i'll create her back armhole just like you can see me doing click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet give this video a thumbs up and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a detailed video as this one so let's keep flowing the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out our basic bodies so like this our front and back basic bodies is ready
so here we have our front and back pattern ready so let's move to the sleeve so for the sleeve i'm going to create my baseline as usual and after that i will mark um 2.5 inches that will serve as the cap's height okay and the length of the sleeve is 6 inches so after creating the dots the next thing i'm going to be doing is to um indicate our cap's length which from our formula we got to be 6 so now i'm going to connect the dots after connecting we now have our sleeve we have from the tip of the sleeve to the cap side and from the tip to the full length of the sleeve now this is the cap's length that's where we have it so i'm going to be connecting from the tip of the sleeve to the cap's length where we indicated and i'll go i'm going to be doing this for the front and back so this is the back part okay i'm going to divide it into two first and mark then this my tape measure i'm going to divide it again that is to say this line that slanted line that we've created we are dividing dividing it into four so now i'm going to mark them out so now for the front, I'm going to divide only by 2 and I will mark also. Now moving on to the back. From this point that I just touched, I'm going to go up by half inch. And from this point also, I'm going to come down by 0 0.25. Okay, and I'm going to use my armhole curve to connect these dots to create our armhole for the back so this is the back armhole note if you did not get this you can replay so that you capture everything okay i don't want you to make any form of mistake observe observe closely to see how i'm placing the armhole curve okay so just take it one step at a time so now we have our back armhole and for the front armhole i'm going to come down by half inch just like you see me do and i'm going to connect it this way okay and i'll flip to the other side and also finish the armhole curve so here we go so now we have our front armhole curve and the back armhole curve now i'm taking the um, sleeve circumference which is 9 divided by 2 4.5 so that is what I just marked and I will connect my lines so like this we have our front and back basic sleeve all together you can choose to add your allowances all around the sleeve okay <clears throat> so now I'm just going to cut it out and we are done please if you find this tutorial helpful do not forget to give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to this channel for more detailed videos and click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video see you on my next one bye